two. Hello, friends. So what we're going to do today is a quick video because i got a lot of stuff to do. So what we want to do, and I'll just get straight to it, is we want to take in a string of unordered numbers, and then we want to compose to the median value of a sorted array. So there's a couple of things we want to do here. We want to uh, make array uh, from string. We want to uh, sort the array. And then we want to get median value. Uh, median value being the, the number in the middle, not the average. So we can make a couple of functions work. Uh, we'll keep our functions small, and then we can compose those together. So the first thing that we want to do is take this uh, string that's being passed in. We want to make an array. So const uh, make r is going to take in a string. And again, like I said, you want to keep these functions small as possible and then compose them together. Uh, so make r is going to take in a string and it's just going to return string.split at the spaces because if you notice right here these have these numbers have spaces in between them and then what we'll do is we'll return our console.log uh, make array with the str passed in let's see what we get here cool so we get an array with and I wanted to show you this real quick so let's say that we had uh, a string like this and let's say that it was one two three and four let's say that we wanted to make an array out of that if you can normally do this with the uh, spread operator but if but as you see it's gonna make the uh, empty spaces elements within the array and we don't want to have to do that so it's better to just go str split and then add the spaces in right here and then that'll give you what you want. So that's what we're returning right here. So if you look, uh, what it returns for us is that it's it's there's two things wrong. Each element is a string, so you can't sort strings. So we'll have to make a function that turns all of the elements into uh, integers or something, some some something that we can sort, and then we'll have to write a sorting method for it. So let's figure that out. So let's go const, um, let's say uh, str, or, uh, process data, or clean data, clean data, and then that's going to take in an array, and it's going to return mm, r.map, and then we'll just go parse int, for lm and let's see what that returns so we'll actually call these as though we were composing them down here let's pass this in right here let's see what we get okay cool so that cleaned up our data now we can we can sort this and if you don't know anything about uh, if you don't know why I'm calling things like this down here I have a video on function composition on my channel that you might want to watch that uh, to get caught up. Next thing we need to do is sort these. So let's make a sorting uh, method or a uh, function rather. And this will take in an array as well. And then we'll just do the sorting algorithm that I did yesterday on my channel. If you didn't see that video, maybe go back and watch that as well. But we'll just sort this right here. The main thing that I'm trying to do right here is create small functions, compose them together and show you how all that works. The individual functions that I'm writing, the sorting function, the clean data function, and the make array function, these are all fairly simple. So uh, we'll just go let temp, uh, we'll just declare it, and then we'll do two for loops, let i equals r.length, while i is greater than zero, we want to decrement i, and then right here, we want to go for let j equal 0 while j is uh, less than, or while j is less than i, uh, 
j plus plus and we'll increment that if you don't know how to do this sorting or sorting uh, this is a really uh, bad sorting algorithm it's called bubble sort and I made a video about it yesterday it's on my channel I'll put the link in the description you can check that out uh, so we got these two for loops and then right here we'll write our if statement if j uh, if r at j is greater than r at j plus 1, then we want to basically flip these. So we'll go uh, temp equals r at j, r at j equals r at j plus 1, r at j plus 1 equals temp and we've flipped those and then we'll just return the array okay so let's call that down here it gets rid of some of this space and we'll keep calling it the way that we were calling these earlier because this is basically the way that it's gonna that the data is gonna weave through uh, what we're doing here put this right here and let's see okay cool so now we see that it's sorted so now what we want to do is return the median value here. So let's write a function for that. So let's go const get median. And that's going to equal an array, or it's going to bring in an array. And we'll go const is even. We'll check to see if it's even. Equals r.length divided by 2, or mod 2 is equal to zero. If that is true, then it will be even. So we'll go uh, we'll go so if we have that, yeah, so we'll go is even and we'll write a ternary statement here. We'll say is even, which is r.link divided by two or mod two. If there's no remainder when that, we know that it is even. So in that case, we want to return, uh, what do we want to return right here? It will be r at r.link divided by 2 minus 1. And if not, we'll run return r at math.floor r.link divided by 2. Okay, so let's actually individually check this because it's been a minute since I wrote that. Uh, console.log get median for, and we'll just pass in an array right here. Uh, let's say it's one, two, three, four, five. So it should return three. This get median should return three. Let's see, Rupert returns undefined because I didn't put return right here. Okay, yeah, it does return three, so it is working. Uh, so now that we have all of our functions working, and if we call right here, if we call get median, like this, it'll return 22. So 22, once all this sorted, 22 is like somewhere right here. So everything's working, but calling it like this is terrible down here. So we need to write a compose function to clean this up. So let's go const compose equals, how many methods do we got? One, two, three, four. So that'll take A, B, C, D. And then that'll take in some data. And it will be uh, A, B, C, D with the data passed in. All right, so down here we'll call um, const compose uh, get number because this is just going to return what we want, the median value of the sorted array. So const compose get number equals compose with, 
And the way that we're going to run these is we're going to have D, basically from left to right, D and then C and then B and then A. So D will be make R. So make R. And then once we go from the make R, we're going to want to clean the data. So it'll be clean data. And then for that, or after that rather, after we've after we've cleaned the data, we need to sort the data. So we'll just go sort. And then after that, what do we want to do? We want to get median. So get median. Okay. So down here, instead of running all this huge mess that we're running, we can just run composed get number and pass in the input. Composed get number, and then let's go up here and get this and bring it down. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll run it with str. Let's see if it works. Boom, bam, it works. We get 22. So that was a lot done fairly quickly. So basically, the main things that you need to take away from are this, how to compose this function, how to, you know, little things like these get median values and these, you know, sorting algorithms. Those are cool as well. Uh, learn some stuff about the map function. So not a bad, not a bad way to get going this morning. If you don't have if you have if you have trouble following this, I have a video specifically on this small sorting algorithm, and I have another video on just function composition. This is very useful. Learning this is is useful, and uh, I'll link those in the description of this video. But I got to get to work, and this is like you know kind of a, a fun one off. But uh, moving forward, like over the next week or so, I'm going to be doing a lot more different kind of sorting algorithms. So instead of doing like you know bubble sort here, which is the big O of n squared, I think, uh, because of the nested for loops. I'm going to start doing a little bit more quicker sorting algorithms. So stay tuned for those videos. Take it sleazy.